Hi everybody. When Infinity first appeared on the scene, its advertising focused on the meaning of luxury and featured images of rocks and trees rather than cars. The Moody, a cult method did not work very well at moving the metal. However, if Infinity wants to differentiate its products, like the QX60, from those of rapidly gentrifying mainstream brands, it might do well to reevaluate the idea of luxury. The Infinity QX60's 2022 redesign replaced the JX's amorphous, blob like form language with a tauter, more contemporary design. Looking at the rear view, a friend said, it looks like a baby Range Rover. You could almost see the QX blushing with pride. The top spec autograph model is the only one with the contrast colored roof, which is a not so subtle reference to Range Rover. Which, now that we've mentioned it, sounds suspiciously like the opulent autobiography trim on the Range Rover. The Infinity's sole engine remains unchanged underneath. Again, the 3.5 liter V6 produces 295 horsepower when it consumes premium fuel, whereas the Nissan Pathfinder produces 284 horsepower when it consumes regular fuel. This engine is revitalized now that it is paired with a 9-speed automatic instead of a continuously variable transmission, despite the fact that its output remains unchanged. The new QX60 is expected to get 2126 mpg with front-wheel drive and 2025 mpg with all-wheel drive, which is 1 mpg better in the city and 1 mpg better highway than before. The QX60 beat the MDX and Cadillac XT6 in terms of fuel economy in our real-world 75 miles per hour test, but it got 4 mpg less than the Pathfinder. The QX60 does not have the adaptive dampers or air springs that are standard on premium brand SUVs in this price range. Instead, most of its chassis is identical to the Pathfinders. The wheels on the base model are 18 inches, while the wheels on the higher trims are 20 inches. We also observed a fair amount of head toss, and those larger wheels can translate some impact harshness, which a suspension that is more sophisticated might be better able to filter out. A sporty variant, like those offered by Cadillac, BMW, and Acura, is not included in the program either. We measured 0.85 G of lateral grip with Hankook Dynapro HP2 all-season rubber on the skid pad, despite the QX60's lack of athleticism compared to the MDX, X5, or XT6. 171 feet were required to stop from 70 miles per hour. While Android Auto requires a cord, Apple CarPlay is wireless. Standard is wireless charging. The rotary controller remains, but it is moved to the console instead of the dash. Interior temperature and audio volume are controlled by knobs with knurled edges, but there is no tuning knob like in the Pathfinder. Climate controls are haptic touch devices that require persistent pushing. The cabin is well stocked with USB ports, and it comes standard with a panoramic sunroof. The second and third rows of passengers are slightly higher than the front row. Only the autograph has captain's chairs in the second row, the smaller versions come with a three-person bench, which isn't ideal for separating siblings who are fighting. Unless second row passengers show mercy and slide their seats forward, the third row is extremely constrained. However, Using a push button to tilt and slide the seats in the second row out of the way, access to the third row is simple. As a three-row family hauler, the brand new QX60 effectively covers all bases. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.